In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the power of reading. So a lot of you are jumping on self improvement. You're gonna see reading books. It's a very common thing. Everyone says, everyone does it. Read books. Billionaires read books. Successful people read books. Well, they're not wrong. To be successful, you need to read. And no, we're not talking about science textbooks and maths algebra books. No, not them lot. Fun that, bro. <laughs> Fun them books, bro. We are not reading them books, right? You're going to be reading books that are actually going to help you with your lives. So let's get into it. Reading is so powerful. I'm going to explain why. What is a book essentially? A book is an author's life, right? It's what they learn about in their life. You're basically, you're taking someone's whole life, their whole life experience, right? What they've learned, the way they've messed up and what they're teaching you, the key lesson there. And that's condensed in a book about this big. That's insane. That is mad. It's mad to think. Someone's most valuable life lessons and experiences are all condensed down into a book which you can read at a very affordable price. Yeah, some of you say, oh, it's very expensive. It's very expensive. But yeah, you know, you lot want to go out and drink. You want know, to spend £70 on that, £80 on that, and more than that. You can't spend £10 on the book. So get that book and read it, flipping idiot. So you're getting some immense value, right? Authors these days are giving anecdotes in their books. They don't just teach you lessons, they teach you their life experiences, right? So in the book, The Millionaire Fasting, one of my favourite books, probably my favourite book, MJ DeMarco doesn't just teach you about money, but he tells you about his life. He takes you on a journey from when he was broke, the things he wanted, the things he learned, the things that used to come up in his mind, and how he conquered that to get to success while teaching you about money, while teaching you about the 9 to 5 matrix and how it's all outdated. Start reading reading is so powerful guys and i don't blame you lot if you don't like reading because schools made us hate reading we went to school we were given books like oh the geography textbook and the uh, maths algebra books and design technology books which didn't learn anything i don't remember anything macbeth i don't care about macbeth but schools basically just made you hate reading you know they gave you a book to force you to read it all you take notes when you have to read. That was not how it was meant to be done. And I'm going to tell you how to actually read. What I do when I read is I simply get the book I'm reading. I always watch a summary video on the book before I read it. So you get a general idea. You know, it just helps you keep up with things. You pick up on things quicker. Just go on YouTube, right? Okay, the millionaire fast lane summary. So probably going to be four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Just watch the video so you have an idea of what's coming up. Then you start reading the book. And you just simply want to have another notebook next to the book and just take key notes right so for example the millionaire fasting talks a lot about you know the nine to five is very outdated right you want to make notes on why it's outdated how it's outdated you don't know the key points and just make sharp snappy points you don't want to write paragraphs you know so a big problem was in our society they told you to write 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 that's not how you learn your brain doesn't work like that your brain wants quick snappy colorful meaningful no text. That's all it is. You want to write short, snappy things. So nine to five job, underline it, and then you write everything about it. Short, snappy key points, which you remember. Next, I would advise you lot to write in different colors. It just helps things stick out more. That's personally my advice because I'm a very visual learner. When the page is all in one color, I get really bored. I get very lost. On the bullet point, short, snappy key points in different colors and make it relevant to the subject you're learning. And you're probably thinking, well, back in school, you didn't remember those things. You didn't. You took notes, you didn't, re you didn't remember. You revised and you still forgot in the exam. Well, that's because you weren't interested in it. These topics are going to be interesting. Money for me is very interesting. I didn't know a lot about money. We just weren't taught. And in my family, we weren't taught this either. So learning about money was very insightful for me. It was so amazing. It was like a new experience. Oh, wow, this is, this is like, crazy experience man it was amazing to learn about you know how money works the history of money and you know how you can invest and how you can start businesses to make your future and control your future automatically when you're you're writing and you're taking notes on a subject you're gonna it's gonna stick in your mind it's gonna stick in your mind and what you want to do every now and then is read over it you don't have to study for two hours three hours just make short snappy notes and just read over it from time to time again then again guys that may not work for you so you need to find what works for you experiment maybe the long paragraphs does work for you maybe going on powerpoint works for you maybe pictures help you learn who knows but find what works for you this is what i've tried many different things this is what worked for me so i would suggest who the hell is horning bro i would suggest you not to start by this and if it doesn't work try different ways but i am very sure it will work so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you lot start reading, man, because we need to educate ourselves. We need to really educate ourselves, man, and we need to unlearn all the GCSE and A-level garbage that we had in our lives. Unlearn all that shit, man. Unlearn all of it. It's not going to help you, bro. 
I hope you all enjoyed that video. Make sure you lot subscribe. Make sure you join this journey where I'm going to teach you a lot of things. I'm on this self-improvement journey with you. You know, I make self-improvement videos. You know, I'll give you my life experiences. And I also make football videos here and there. So if you lot are interested in that type of content, stay tuned. And I'll catch you in my next video. And a bit you lot love.